Hello guys, Night Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast. I'm a little bit sick and we're one minute into the game, but it doesn't matter. Let's go on with the team, shall we? Actually, let's go with Red Team first, because they are doing something sneaky. So we have Lux on the front, she will probably go to the middle, followed by a Singed, who will probably go top. He is also standing there in the bush. We also have... Well, we don't have Graves. I was going to say we also have Sona there in the mix trying to help out their buddies with their invade. Graves, of course, together with Sona on the bottom lane. And then, last but by no means least, we have Hecarim who is, of course, going to lead the charge. Blue team unaware of anything. Not the Teemo! Not the Teemo! It's going to be the Teemo given as a first blood on by Lux. So that's great, that's going to be blue stolen as well, probably given to Hecarim. Though, in their defense, it might be rather smart to give it to the Singed instead, if Hecarim is able to get to his blue fast enough, of course. We shall see. Jarvan, of course, switched straight to the red, and he can easily go straight to the enemy's blue, if necessary. We shall see. So let's go over blue team, now that we're talking about them. So we have a Kha'Zix who will be in the middle. We have an Ezreal on the bottom together with a Leona. She's already there. Ooh, level 2 Ezreal. Very nice. Of course, Grace will be level 2 rather shortly as well. Timo on top versus Singed, which is quite good, I might say. He can use move quick whenever Singed wants to flip him for the extra damage, and then he can pretty much move away from the poison as well. And once he is level 6, he is able to kite Singed pretty hard. So that will be fine, and as I was talking, I saw immediately in the middle some movement, but I was too slow. Of course, the power of a level a, a level 2 gank. Let's go back in time and see how it all happened. So, we had here Lux just moonwalking around. Of course, it's the replay function, don't let it bother you. So she thought she was okay, but we had Jarvan here lurking down below in the bush, and it only needs a standard toss to get the kill, so a very good communication skill there by both the Kha'Zix and uh, the Jarvan. They used their crowd control pretty good in sync, I must say. So it resulted in a very good kill. Flash has been burned as well, Ignite has been burned as well, so Kha'Zix should have an easy lane after this. We shall see, it's 1-1 for both teams, they are equal in standing right up now. So it everything can everything can happen. We won't know. Ward been placed down by Sona, so Leona won't be able to do a cheeky grab onto the graves. Not that she wants to. You do not want to get closer to a graves. Of course, not that you have any choices as a Leona. As I said that, she really got a good stun onto Graves. Too bad Ezreal didn't got the full damage potential that he might have gotten. Though it was indeed too dangerous. At least the damage has been dealt. But then again, there's a Sona, and again, straightforward, again, Ezreal can only auto-attack because, again, there are minions standing in the way. Sona trying to return the damage to Leona, trying to make her not do that many grabs onto Graves, because, quite frankly, it is annoying him. He wants to last hit Leona, you scallywag, you. But, in the end, it will all work out quite fine. So, Red Team has a, have a small lead. Which is weird, it can only be because of a better farm. A very big mystic shot a hit there onto the Sona, but it doesn't matter because she's Sona. She has sustain, Aria of Perseverance will make it so that she can heal her lane quite effectively. The same cannot be said for Leona and Ezreal. Now she does have the regrowth pendant apparently, a uh, rejuvenation bead, sorry. So... In a way, she will regen quite quickly, well, quicker than you normally would, so the only thing she might go with it, well, there are multiple options, but I think she's going for a Philosopher's Stone, of course, because she is support and it gives you gold per five. An invade here by blue team onto the red team's jungle, we have Kha'Zix going in onto Lux, but of course there is Hecarim as well with a red buff and a blue buff combined, it's going to <laughs> push the Kha'Zix away from the light binding, that would have been a kill, now we have Jarvan there trying to chase them down, it won't work, Ezreal and Leona are there in the fray as well, so red team has to back off, Hecarim was fairly low but... It was fairly unfortunate, because I'm pretty sure if the Light Binding would have hit, that Kha'Zix would have died. But, hey, it happens. Can't really blame him. If he didn't do anything, he might have died to begin with. 
So, red team actually pushing quite hard on the bottom lane. Of course, that's the thing what you get if you're Graves and you have a Sona as well. Though Leona can use her abilities to prop her passive onto the minions that might increase the speed in which the minions are killed. But then again, I don't think Ezreal really bothers. He can loss it quite well under the turret, apparently. Leona now going in onto Graves, who just did a buckshot, so he was tanking quite a few towers there. Leona going to auto-attack Graves. Will it be enough? She gets ignited, gets blinded, will be a kill. Ezreal not going to kill the Sona. Jesus Christ. Well, they did have a huge minion disadvantage, and in the end, that's what killed them. They had the advantage in the beginning of the fight, but because they didn't have the minions, the minions did the work for Red Team instead, which resulted in a kill. Singe being fairly low is going to land a very good ooze there, but will it be enough? I don't know. Timo flashing in is gonna get flinked and ignited. Singed, of course, running away like a Singed should, and will result in a kill. Singed leveling up. Adhesive, what what is it called? Mega adhesive. I'm sorry that I called it ooze. It's an adhesive. Jarvan again wanting to gank the lugs, but there are wards now. Well, at least on the bottom part of the middle, void spikes hitting the lugs for quite some damage, I might say, considering Lux trying to return the damage, but it's only a losing singularity. And it's actually going to lure the Kazix in, he doesn't have that much mana left. Lux going to try and slow him down with the Lucent Singularity. Ignite goes down, but the Void Spikes was enough, of course. So would have been the Ignite, but hey, I am Hecarim, and he really wanted to kill. Can't really blame him. Hecarim is a very strong champion in the end, so the faster that you can get to the end, the better. Though I must say, a Lux that's a little bit underpowered in the mid game won't be as much of a threat in the end game. Though we shall see, it's early on in the game and we have Red Team with a huge champion kill lead. 3. And we're only 7 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Leona trying to do some damage onto the Sona. It's not really working. Now we have Jarvan going in from below. There is a ward in that bush though, so it will not work. Sona and Graves will immediately notice this and they will get away. No problem at all. Item-wise, Lux is apparently going for some mid-game aggression with the double Dorans. And back to bot we go, apparently, for Sona wanted to do, well, some damage, apparently. Now we have a uh, singed... Oh, I thought he was going to use a mega adhesive there. Maybe he just wanted to flink. He's trying to ignore the damage of Timo. Timo trying to bait Singed into the brush, but Singed knows that there's probably a Shroom there. Though actually the Shroom is pretty far away. Now we have Kha'Zix again getting attacked by the Hecarim, but that will be all. Timo, of course, was getting to the lower part of the lane. A ward will now reveal Kha'Zix. Will he be able to dodge the Light Binding? He did turn himself invisible with the ultimate. Hecarim needs to use his ultimate to get away. Timo was there indeed. Singed now going in the rear. Kha'Zix jumping on the Hecarim. He's not able to catch up. Singed using his ultimate. Insanity Potion, just to hell, have some more movement speed apparently. We have a job in there as well, he should be able to fling him. Will he fling him? Well, the Lux Laser will make it so that it's an easy fling for Singed. Though he shouldn't have used it, to be honest, an auto-attack would have been fine. And then he might have been able to fling Kha'Zix, but then again it was underneath the turret, so I can't really blame him. He has a red buff now, which is cool. So yes, a very good start for a red team. They are 3000 gold ahead. Dragon has not been taken yet, though I think because of the turn of how this has been going, it's only a matter of time. No one on this, on this team has teleport, and with that I mostly mean the top lane, because as you all are aware, if one of the top laners goes to the bottom lane, then that will mean a dragon. Now, it depends who will go to the, the dragon first. They're both going to recall I think since the first one to recall as well as Hecarim and Lux so the three of them will be at full power so I, they could do a dragon but I think they're not going this is solo ranked of course so they aren't really being a very great team as you might see in tournaments and all that stuff not saying they're playing bad not at all just saying that communication will be a little less harder so that will probably result in dragon being taken a little bit l at a later time. Of course, there's only 10 minutes into the game. There have been way later dragons in life, but I thought it would have been a good time. I was wrong, apparently. Lux missing her final spark there. She does hit the Lucent Singularity, but come on, he was binded. Well, he was binded by the second binding, which of course doesn't crowd control you as long as the first. 
and that was probably the reason why. So, bottom lane actually pushing quite hard. We have Sona with a level advantage on the Leona, and as I say, now it's easy for us to see who's ahead, because of course you have blue team's money and red team's money on this play on top. But a good way to decide whether or not you're ahead in game is to look by the levels of the supports as we're as I'm saying of course Kazakh wanted to go onto the Lux but Lux turning it around nicely together with Hakarim baited completely one more auto attack will be fine but guess what that was a nice little ultimate there by Hakarim now bottom lane getting a kill as well we're going back in time back to when everything was still all right so we have Yeleona here all by herself taking a lot of damage by the minions and Sona using her C I never, I can never remember how that's called. Crescendo. Her C. I think that's more than a D, to be honest. But hey, Crescendo was used correctly, and it resulted in a quite an easy kill onto Leona, I might say. You must always be aware that you can die in a 2v1, even when you're Leona. Now we have Hakarim going onto the Ezreal from behind. He is fairly low, he shouldn't be tanking the turret first, but of course, Graves will result. Well, we'll make it so that he gets the kill. So it results in probably a turret down as well. Yes, indeed. Unless, of course, Red Team doesn't really want to destroy this turret. And I can't really blame them. They're having a huge lead on the bottom lane as well. They have complete control. So why not farm some champion kills while you're at it? I don't see any lane losing now. And I, I thought that maybe the middle lane might have lost. To, well, Lux was having some difficulties to uh, the Kazakhs. But then... True, amazing play by Hecarim and Lux playing this together. They have good CC, especially when Hecarim has the onslaught of shadows. It's just, they, they're able to turn every gank around that Javon and the Kazix wants to do. Kazix is pretty much able to one-shot the Lux. He doesn't really need the help, but every time Javon was there, but of course Hecarim being the horseman that he is, was just there faster and succeeded in getting the kills quicker. Which ex well, which made it so that Lux won her lane, to be honest. Now they're finally going for Dragon. Not really, they're going for Kha'Zix. I am going to have to click onto Kha'Zix to see his cooldowns. He can still leap if necessary, but it was just a rose to get him away from the Dragon. Which, of course, they will take. Now, Singe died on top, but I'm going to stay here if my mouse doesn't want to go crazy. I'm first going to check out whether or not this team is able to take Dragon. And... Well, Leona doesn't want them to take Dragon, but I think they need to concede. They did land a Solar Flare, but what did it do? Not that much. So, let's go to the, the kill onto the Singed quickly, shall we? We shall. So, Singed was here, running around at the enemy's blue, so he was spotted by Jarvan. He got knocked up by Jarvan, and of course, there's still a Cataclysm on the way if need be. And there it is. So, there's no escape for Singed. He almost got the Jarvan, you might say. But at least it resulted in his team taking the dragon, as you could have seen, as I will go twice as fast as normally. And now we're back to where we were. So, great play. Apparently, blue team wants, red team wants to go for it. A flash and by the Sona. Well, that's going to be a, a crescendo for sure. But the light binding of Lux was way more intense, I might say. And that was an amazing light binding, resulting in a double kill for I thought to be Graves with just the collateral damage and the buckshot. Now someone is taking a lot of damage, it is Javan, he did not anticipate the onslaught of shadows apparently as well. He did not anticipate the Hecarim being there and it resulted in death. There was a good ward there so Hecarim knew that Javan was coming and he could just ambush him at the raves. Is now going to steal the red buff. This is looking rather grim for blue team. For a tower has been destroyed, a red buff has been taken and of course bottom tower had been destroyed as well after the fight oh no Timo run boy run da -da 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 move quick has been used but of course the poison uh, the insanity poison has been used as well two more auto attacks should do for singed will he get the auto attack though of course insanity poison gives him a little bit more tenacity he will use the mega adhesive the minions will do the job for him and that was one of the luckiest kills I've seen. Just the timing. Timo was just about to recall back to base. And, well, he was unlucky. 
The great play by Sinch turning his poison off as he walked through the bush, making it certain that even though he wouldn't have gotten the reaction time to click Teemo fast enough, the poison did the job for him. So great play indeed. And that's the third tower and the last outer tower for blue team destroyed by Sir Singedalot. He sure does love to singe. He is going to continue pushing of course, he is a singe though, he is a viable member in team fights of course. He will just run around and then flip your squishies and that's what you want as singed. No one can kill you. Singed now trying to steal blue, he needs to be careful. This was the exact position that he died previously but he's just going to place a ward down. Smart enough, there is a Kha'Zix approaching but I don't think Kha'Zix has enough mana to kill the Singed. We shall see. There is a Javan though, he is going to Cataclysm straight onto the Singed but there's a Lux missing the binding. Luckily enough, Javan was smart enough to remove the Cataclysm or else that would have been an easy ultimate combination for Lux. Lux, of course, a great pick against Javon because of it. Sure, you can lock up enemies close with your Cataclysm, but as long as your friends aren't there, now it's going to be Leona going on to the Sona, but the damage was just too much for, from Graves, so they were able to trade it off equally. Javon now going to the bottom. Lux is kind of close, but not close enough. We have Graves trying to do as much as he can, trying to dodge away from the standard Dragonlance combo, but it didn't work. Instead, he is going to try and kill Javan. Javan running away. Graves still does not have flash yet, but the Lux laser was able to turn it around. Javan runs, doesn't succeed. Double kill for, well, a kill for both Lux and Graves, turning an impossible situation around. I take my head off for you. But you don't take your head off for me, so that's not very nice. We have the Kha'Zix, however. This should result in an easy kill. The full combo hits the Graves, but his flash was off cooldown, of course. I was going to say that Graves could have almost flashed away during that fight, but it had a few seconds cooldown. Flash in by Kha'Zix, he will get the shot down onto Graves. Well, we have, of course, Hecarim trying to go in, but a nice little Ionian shield. Daybreak shield, I must say, by Leona, making it so that he could not catch the Kassadin, uh, the Kassadin, the Kha'Zix. But, well, she paid for it with her life. Now, Kha'Zix wants to go another time. This is going to be an easy kill onto the Hecarim, no doubts about that. He got caught. Lux now going to run away. They can't see the Kha'Zix. A very good exhaust by the Sona, of course, considering that he was invisible for the time being. Final Spark is going to turn this around. Azrael going for the kill, or is he going to run away? I don't know. He could actually go for a kill if he's able to dodge Lux's abilities, though he must be aware that Sona's damage is quite high as well, and it is a 2v1. So it could, it might, he might have been able to pull it off, but it would have been way too dangerous, and he needed his arcane shift for that anyway. Though, keep it in mind, he still has his uh, barrier, and he still has flash, so he could have gone for it. And that's a very nice solar flare there. Shield of Daybreak will stun the Lux long enough. The barrier of Azrael won't be enough because of a good, or will it? It won't, it will, it won't! It won't be enough, as I said, I was going to say the Binding of Lux was perfectly placed, would have given an easy kill. Will they be able to turn this around? Holy f- I was almost going to say a swear word and that's bad. Not really though, but come on, that was awesome. That crescendo was all just off cooldown, it has to be. Oh no, the Timo Shroom! No! Singed, keep on running! No! <laughs> Well, if he kept on running, he might have been able to get got away out of that thing. But instead, he turned around and got a void spikes in his face. It's a pity, but it happens. So that's another turret destroyed by blue team. We have the Cassidy jumping way far, but guess what? He can follow. So he's going to turn invisible. Hecarim doesn't care. He will use his rampage to just kill everyone around him. And that was a very well played indeed. Using the onslaught as well to jump over the wall together with Kha'Zix. Even though he jumped on the shroom, his fear did land on Kha'Zix. So it resulted in actually a trade around CC wise. Hecarim just going to kick the living hell out of Timo, but he is getting slowed quite rapidly, he needs to use Ghost, apparently Timo has a phage and he's willing to use it, he landed another hit onto the Hecarim, but it did not result in a phage proc, so in the end, 
Hecarim was able to get away. Lux now going in from below. Will she get the Teemo? Nope, the Light Binding missing there. The Lucent Singularity was a hit, so with the final spark, it might result in mayhem. Instead, they are focusing on Javan, who is not the prime target, but Hecarim was able to kill the Teemo off. Let's get back just 15... Well, it didn't really took 15 seconds, to be honest. I should have just... Spotted the Hecarim on the top here. He will walk on a shroom though, so it should be fairly close. Hecarim going to use his ramp. He's going to die as well, isn't he? Oh, we barely survived. And then, of course, I was going to say Javan was, of course, in a pity. But he, of course, is Javan and he can use his Dragonlance combination to get away out of the stickiest of situations. This should result in a kill onto Lux, however. And indeed it shall. Kazakh's take having the kill is going to try and get the cinch, though he is a cinch. He might not have his ultimate ready, though. No, indeed, he just used it, and he will die. Will he result in killing Javan, though? He is trying. Javan will Dragonlance away. The potion dot won't be enough. So, a great turnaround a little bit for Blue Team. They are taking some monies back into their, into their wallets, but... The tower on the bottom is destroyed, so in the end it is still a 12,000 gold lead, I might even say a 13,000 gold lead for Red Team. So it is looking rather grim. A grim? I'm hunting a rabbit. Well, it's a Teemo, not really a rabbit. And this is going to be the middle tower, taking a lot of damage. Of course, we have Teemo, we have Kha'Zix, we have Twin Shadow slowing down the Teemo, but we have Kha'Zix. He is able to... A nice crescendo there, but will it be enough? Kha'Zix increasing his movement speed, but a nice little exhaust by the Sona. As always, Sona did get caught by the Leona, but at least... The support did her duty. The support made it so that the carry got away. The carry shall prevail another day. That light spark missed two minions there. But in the end, it all worked out. Hecarim got a kill onto Ezreal. I did not see that coming at all. And for that, I am sorry. So Hecarim going rampant mode onto the Ezreal. He doesn't have Ghost, of course, but does it matter? I don't know. If you have your ultimate, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So even though they got the Sona, they had four players that needed to kill the Sona. And so it was Hecarim getting an easy kill onto Ezreal, I might say. Of course, Hecarim did take an early game kill, which made it so that he could pull ahead quite hard. He already has a Warmox. He already has a D... Uh, uh, it's not a spirit. Yes, indeed. The spirit of the Elder Lizard, which does a lot of damage on Hecarim. Trust me, it's a good item. Now it's Leona getting caught by Graves. Or is it? Because Graves gets exhausted. Will be able to dodge the center of the Solar Flare, but in the end, it will result in a kill. Since just going in for the, exo uh, the Ignite, then going to kill the Teemo. Will he be able to kill more? He needs to be careful there. Javan can do a large chunk of your health every six seconds. Or is it 12? Huh. I'll check it out. I think it's six. Yes, yeah, six seconds indeed. Now we have Ezreal going in. Javan getting caught, but guess what? It's going to be Kha'Zix going for the kill. He's going to leap on. Apparently he evolved his leap uh, secondly, which is normal. He's going to try and do some more, but there is a Sona. Her crescendo is still off cooldown, but only for a few seconds. Singe going for the fling. He doesn't have poison on. Well, he does now, but the Cataclysm will keep him enchained, and that will result in a kill for Ezreal. Of course. Whew! Very amazing plays by both teams, I might say. I am quite happy to see that blue team still gives it all they got, even though they, well, they were 13k gold behind. Now it is only a more. So, e the 14,000 gold behind. But they're still not giving up here. You can see them trying to kill a Hecarim, but of course, as long as he can charge, there's no problems there at all. It, someone's dying. Apparently, it is Sona. Will she be able to get away? More importantly, what was she doing there? Those are the questions of life. Can you catch a Sona, though? As long as she has Song of Celerity, there's no way. She is going to use the Twin Shadows to try and slow down the Leona and the Ezreal. But they didn't hit. They were just barely out of range. So, I was going to talk about Hecarim's items. He is going for... I think his next item is going to be the Icebone Gauntlets, which is a good item on Hecarim. It's good. You used to see him go for Trinity Force, but of course, since Trinity Force has been nerfed since Season 3, well, it has been buffed again a little bit. The price has been reduced, but still, I think Ice 
Bone Gauntlets are still better. It gives you tankiness, it gives you a, an AoE slow, which is good for Hecarim, because if you initiate as a Hecarim, you want to do as much slowing as possible. I wouldn't be surprised if we would go for a randoms afterwards, because it works well as well. Of course, the slows doesn't stack 100%, diminishing returns and all that stuff, but it will at least slow you even more. Since trying to clear out the shrooms and he succeeds, the shrooms of Timo aren't doing that much damage. Then that is of course a nice engage by Hecarim. Sorry, I'm going to have to stop there. Solar Flare not hitting anyone except for Singe, but we have Graves in the... Just at the side, shooting people. Left and down, Singe just dancing around the turret. He doesn't care. They're not able to kill him. He's now going to work on shrooms. Why? Well, it's not an AP, Timo. The shrooms aren't that big of an issue. Hecarim doesn't care as well. Does Lux have her final spark? She does! Only a few seconds remaining. She's going to try and snipe Timo, but he was able to dodge. She's going to shield pretty much everyone of her team. The Ignite, of course, will kill the Singed. And we have a flash away by Azrael, but he will not survive. Hecarim tanking the turret. A double kill for Hecarim. And now we have Sona tanking a turret and actually doing quite a well. good job indeed. We have, of course, Lux giving her the shields and she should be able to tank it while the minions are there anyway so it doesn't matter now we have Lux tanking Javan wants to go for blood he can't do it instead he is going to get caught by the light lighting and then gets flinked all the way to the other place is going to miss the uh, the C she missed her C the crescendo of course but the ignite again by Sinch just using his ultimate for the extra movement speed and then he ignites the Javan Ah, since you are a troll character and that's why I love you. So that's the first inhibitor in the game destroyed. A very nice flash by Sona. That was a maxed range one at that. But she will not be able to escape the Kazakhs. Especially when... The <laughs> yeah, that was very nice, Ekrim. If you push the Kazakhs towards the Sona, it will result in an easy kill. His leap is, of course, off cooldown because he got the assist. Solar Flare was now able to hit, but Kazakhs was caught by the binding. Lucent Singularity will... Well, it will result in a kill. Sensed, of course, has his Insanity Poison. He will not reach and another will he a very nice shield but he he did an amazing shield by Lux that was a solar flare no that was an eclipse trying to hit there we have Timo barely with any help will not escape the binding Sona Leona is next there's no escape girl there's no escape amazing play by the Lux together with this singe that shield man Jesus I'm I'm, I'm shaking I'm shaking. Well, this is quite late and I'm I'm actually sick, so I might have a fever. So that might explain why I'm shaking. Doesn't matter, this game is awesome. We have Graves, we have Azrael, we have the entirety of Red Team, and apparently the dynamic camera says, Hey, look at this. Isn't this awesome, Night Spectre? I must say, well, I don't mind dynamic camera. If you like to do some artsy-fartsy shots, then I don't mind, but clearly... It is of no value to me. We have Grace running away, trying to dash away, but of course the dash isn't as far as the leap of Kazakhs. Instead, he's just saying, screw this, it's Graves mode. But Grace, of course, doesn't have barrier. He did have ignite, but it didn't result in a kill. But I must say, great play, Graves. You just killed the Kazakhs and Azrael all by yourself and almost turned it around in a double kill. That's itemization for you. He also has a war mox, don't you know? Which is awesome. Every Pretty much everyone of Red Team, uh, yes indeed, has a Warmox. Now we have the Hecarim trying to get kited, which he does quite well, but he doesn't care for the Teemo anymore. Instead, is going to kite uh, the Teemo himself in order for his team to get there. The Light Binding misses, but of course, the C doesn't. Under the crescendo, under the crescendo, Leona's dead. Double kill for Sona, yippee i yay Sona is happy, can't you see? Maybe she can buy a Warmox too, baby. This will be a turret. No need to blur it. Under the sea. Sorry, I don't know what rhymes with Urit. Maybe Furret. Boom! That rhymes with Urit. So a very nice laser. A nice double kill indeed. And an ace. Will this be game? Well, normally it should. But I think Red Team wants to have more fun, don't you? I must say props to Blue Team for not surrendering at all, but pretty much all of their inhibitors are gone, except for one. 
Yes, indeed, Hecarim wants to get a kill, <laughs> knocking him away from the standard. But it wasn't enough. It will result in Timo being back there. The entirety of blue team is almost returning. 15 seconds left. Timo gets flinked, though. That must result in a kill. The flink together with the charge of Hecarim is such a great combination. Of course, Hecarim with his onslaught of shadows can do the same. But why use an ultimate if it's on cooldown? And if a flink can do the same? Fling and push again. Great combination. Are the cooldowns the same or are they really working for it? It's amazing. Boom! Oh my god, Lux! Jesus, a full combination killing the Ezreal. Well, this will be game. Another light binding hitting, but it won't be enough. Now we have Kazix trying to do some damage. Solar Flare trying to do something. But it's a game. It's a G to the G. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Whatever it is I do, whenever it is I do it, man, this was good. Bye.